What's up ladies and gentlemen? Long time no see. I know. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's been really busy here um, with work, school, all that kind of stuff. But I have been doing some fishing. I haven't been catching much. It's been really tough here in Tennessee. Cold weather, lots of rain, muddy water, um, and just the spots I've been fishing I haven't been producing. So I'm sorry about that. Hopefully we're going to start getting into more fishing coming up soon with the weather starting to warm up, spring starting to roll around, and the spawn starting to come back. So hopefully we can get into some of that stuff. But for today at least, we are going to be doing some rigging up for tomorrow. And we're going to be, we're going, to be going down to Lake Chickamauga tomorrow and fishing all day. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what I was going to rig up for tomorrow and why I'm rigging up specific things. So, um, for starters, uh, we got to think about the conditions. So the conditions are going to be very, very muddy. Uh, it's actually raining right now here in Tennessee, in Knoxville, which is about two hours north of Chattanooga. But it's raining all over Tennessee right now. So we're going to have really muddy conditions. Um, and the water is going to be up so those fish are going to be most likely pushed up really close to the bank really tied into cover structure um, docks really anything docks lay downs rocks anything they can get up and hug close to so they can one feel more secure and two so they can ambush prey so I'm gonna get a couple things rigged up and then I'll talk to you guys in just a second all right guys so just got rigged up um, there's a couple more things I got to do, like I got to find my reel for this rod, I got to rig it up. And I actually have a rod over at my cousin's house that I left there yesterday that I still have to rig up. But, um, so there's going to be a jig on this one and there's going to be a white chatterbait on the other one. So, I already know what I'm putting on there, just got to do it. But anyways, my other rods, um, I got my other four, I have four tied up right now. So I got two bottom baits and two moving baits. So bottom baits, I got a, or I have a unpegged Texas rig with a 17 pound fluorocarbon. That's my first bottom bait. My second bottom bait, I have a black and blue jig since the water's gonna be so dirty. Uh, black and blue jig, uh, maybe flipping under docks, around lay down, stuff like that. And that's straight braid, that's straight 50 pound braid because 50 pound braid um, allows you to get a little bit more castability than 65 but still gives you that strength and the hook set ability. Um, and we're going to be fishing dirty water so I'm not worried about the fish being able to see my line. But anyways, next up, the moving baits. I got a red eye shad lipless crankbait and a uh, chartreuse belly crawl color. I um, actually just picked this one up today. That chartreuse should stand out in the muddy water, so that's the reason I picked up this one. And that's on 12 pound monofilament. Uh, some people say you shouldn't, they wouldn't throw mono on a crankbait, but I think since you, you're already throwing a moderate action rod, which doesn't, it bends all the way through the blank and it doesn't have a quick snap back. So, say if a fish jumps, it's not going to snap back really quick it's just going to kind of slowly do it so that mono just gives me a little bit extra give so when that fish starts shaking the line kind of absorbs it instead of the fish throwing the hooks i think so that's just kind of a personal preference and then i have a black and blue chatterbait with a um it's a strike king rage crawl i believe um on there so the chatterbait it's on braid as well uh the chatterbait is a really good muddy water bait uh sends off a lot of vibration and with the extra kick from that rage crawl should give off a ton of vibration so those fish will be able to locate it um and then i'm also going to have the white chatterbait with probably a paddle tail swim bait just to kind of see if they're kind of wanting the crawl of the the legs of this crawl kicking or more of a paddle tail like a fish uh, it's kind of you got to figure it out that day and then another jig just in case I run across any really heavy stuff it's going to be lined with a 65 pound test braid on this um, extra heavy rod so this is kind of 
if I see anything that's super, super thick and I need to be able to get those fish out of there quick, that's what this rod's gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna be fishing with it a whole lot, but just to have it there just in case. And then, um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video of me rigging up. And next video should be us on Chickamauga catching some big old bass. Peace.